Okay, gonna do a quick one on this high gain foot warmer. I think I already did one on, you know, when I found this at a recent swap, you know, guy had it for 25 and I fooled around and somebody else had bought it right in front of me and I was like, oh man, I was gonna buy that. I was just talking about the other amp and the guy did, uh, guy who just bought it for 25 sold it to me for 35. So I paid 35 for this amp without any tubes the tubes are worth a fortune in this it uses 8908s which is the octo base version of the um, m2057 tube um, it had a big ugly um, power switch on it i took that out and i got a switch that i think a fit ordered for it uh, something that looks like the original but it hasn't got here yet and i want to get this thing out the way you know it's been recapped got a little bit of surface rust and um, just a basic 2-2 modulating amp with uh, them 8908s in tetrode mode um, um, they run a um, screen voltage and negative bias on it and uh, a lot of swing and this is the back of my other one that I have this is the clean one that I'm keeping for sure um, and it's, the back has a drive control you know antenna in and out and operate tune which is basically high side low side and um, with these um, expensive tubes in tetro mode you definitely want to tune it up on the tune side first and then once you get it up uh, tuned up go to operate and then tune it again actually the tune and load are actually right there those two screwdriver adjustments that go to your tune cap and your mica trimmer load cap over there and um, also that coil right there is your input tune and it um, gives you a real good input SWR and then you got the drive on the back and that's basically it to this amplifier we got the drive turned down we're on a dummy load you know no false watts we don't, don't broadcast uh, just on the dummy load for show and uh, this amplifier according to the book is designed for uh, 10 meters only and also 1 to 5 watts drive is what it liked um, and the uh, um, book will say that it'll do uh, 300 watts out um, and that it can be set the dead key 300 but the book says uh, don't do that that's too high that uh, you know turn the drive down um, and dead key less than that they recommend half or less so dead key 150 and let it uh, swing up and I like swing anyway um, but that was from the high gain manual you can find that on CB tricks uh, the high gain foot warmer or aka the high gain 644 model 644 there so anyway I guess nothing left but to key it down this watt meter here has the radio going into it on a 20 watt scale and then this watt meter here has the output going to the dummy load on the 200 watt scale I guess I'll take it off a peak and hopefully we haven't uh, moved or touched anything and so one watt in it's dead keen about 20 and both of these on average audio 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 and barely any swing from the radio audio audio is talking about 50 and swinging at about 120 um, and that's on average and that's what weak tubes too I'm going to work on getting a uh, set of 6LW6s, which I think will work in this um, amplifier because the 6LW6 are work in tetro mode but won't work in the grounded grid. But last, on peak, audio, 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 one wide in, hardly any swing, audio, 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 talking about 200 peak. Again, I like these uh, little high gain modulators. Um, I like them a lot. That's going to be the high gain foot warmer with uh, 28908s. Audio, audio. All right, bye.